Hi, welcome to another Todd's Two Minute Tech Tip Tuesday, brought to you by the National RV Training Academy. The only academy that not only trains you, but gives you the credentials to become both a certified tech and or certified RV inspector. Let's talk batteries. So you're considering moving from your standard lead acid batteries over to lithium. Well, let's go ahead and look over a couple things that you need to consider before making that change. So I've got on here four things that I actually think that you would want to look at to consider changing from lead acid over to lithium. And I'll go ahead and throw in AGM batteries as well. So the first thing that we all want to look at and what everyone thinks about is the cost. In order to replace your standard lead acid battery in your rig, you're going to pay anywhere from $75 to $120. If we switch it over to an AGM, you're almost going to double that. You're looking at anywhere between $180 to $250. If you decide to go lithium, you're looking at $900, $950 to about $1,000 is what you're going to pay. Now, I know a lot of you are like, oh my gosh, is it even worth it? Possibly. So let's go ahead and look over a couple things. A standard lead acid battery is anywhere between 60 and 70 pounds. Now before lithium came out, we'd actually switch over to AGM batteries. Those are anywhere from 80 to 100 pounds each. If we drop down to lithium, you're looking anywhere between 20 and 30 pounds. So if weight is a consideration for you, if you have a lighter rig and you want to put in multiple batteries, but weight is a consideration, especially on the tongue, lithium does help out. Now let's talk life cycles. Again, if you're looking at lithium, it's almost 10 times as much as a lead acid battery, you'd hope they last 10 times as long. And guess what? They do. The standard life cycle on a lead acid battery is anywhere between 300 cycles and 500 cycles. By the time you have it fully charged down to about halfway, and then you recharge it, that's a full cycle. On your AGM, you're about gonna double that. A little bit more than double, you're gonna get about 1,000 to 1,200 cycles. And on lithium, you're gonna get anywhere from 3,000 to 6,000 cycles, just depending on, again, how much you can discharge it. So let's talk depth of discharge. Now this is taking that battery. Can you take a standard lead acid battery and just use it all the way up to zero? No, you can't, you're gonna damage it and you're gonna shorten the life of your cycles. So what's recommended by most of the battery manufacturers is you, you can drain it to about 50%. Now then you need to go ahead and charge it. Some manufacturers say you can get it down to about 70%, but with lithium, technically you can drain this thing all the way down. You have a cell phone, guess what? That's lithium. How many of you actually let your cell phone die and then recharge it? So we'll just say 85 to 90%. You already doubled your useful life that you can have, as well as having your total life cycles. Now the last thing that we want to look at is the charge rate, the recharge rate. Just as a common you know, rule of thumb, that we can recharge lithium four times faster than a standard lead acid battery. Now those are set up based on just how big of a charger you have, how many amps can that charger send over. That's what's gonna be your recharge rate for most of your batteries. But lithium can do it four times faster. So now we have these here, let's talk considerations. So a couple considerations, lead acid batteries, we need to take care of them. So once a month, we really need to pop the caps and we actually need to look at the fluid levels. And if they're low, we need to add distilled water. Secondly, we need to clean off the terminals, make sure that they're tight. Um, same thing now, AGMs, we don't have to maintain. We just simply put those in there. AGMs do not off gas. Lead acid batteries, when they're being charged or when they're under heavy load, they off gas. Lithium doesn't uh, off gas, doesn't need to be recharged. Uh, the only thing that we really want to be concerned about with lithium is, is the temperature outside. They're not very good to be charged up if it's below 40 degrees. So last point of consideration is, is that with a lead acid battery that's fully charged, you're going to get your 12.6 volts coming out of there. But as it begins to die, we're going to see that dip down below 12, probably down to 10. With lithium, you're going to get a far more linear. Now, it's not until we get to 85, 90% that we set to drop down. So you actually get to see your lights not turn golden crispy brown. And my final consideration is, is if you want to add a second lead acid battery, you need to change both of them out. We need to have like kind batteries. So if one's older than the other, then we're going to take our older one, it's going to make our newer one weak. With lithium, you can just add a new battery, add a new battery, add a new battery, and you don't have to worry about the age of the batteries. They're going to last. If you want to be able to fix 80% of the problems on your RV, check out our home study course at the nrvta.com website. If you'd like to earn an income and create a business while on the road, check out our website at nrvta.info, fill out the form, and start your business today. Ooh. What, what flavor is that? Because I smell it.
Let's talk batteries. Let's talk batteries. Any better? See, I went lower. Yep. Sticker shock time. Oh my gosh. Is it even worth it? Oh. <laughs> How did that happen? Well, don't know if they watch the bloopers. All right, let me get back down. Can you see me? Golden brown. Golden brown lights. Hmm. So more tungsten than clear blue? <laughs> um, the... We'll just say that. Although I have the word now. Right? Unless you want to keep doing one more, one more, one more, and we're getting past the two minutes. I think we're good. Okay. All right.